nan sama la mangu ni njai suma de me balai wai khamal ni nan By name, Elime Fidelis Ebong. I work with the Ministry of Communication as an audiovisual specialist posted here at the Regional Delegation of Communication for Boya. And we are presently in front of the photo archives of the said ministry, and this happens to be the main entrance to it. Uh, we have two ways in this one here we can use it up or we use this one down it's unfortunate that the building has been for more than 50 years and like we can see it's the lab is already wearing out but the structure is still there and inside there there are so many things that are worth of interest as we might find out or as we might discover as we proceed so this is the main entrance to the building now where we're going to meet a lot of these uh, negatives as more than 200,000 negatives that we have inside here uh, beginning from 1950. We'll actually see the first negatives and we'll actually see the last negatives that we've been shown. Inside here, we have all the negatives being stocked here and uh, the ground sheets. Most in picture formats, as we can have a bit of pictures that display the, that correspond to negative numbers. So that in case uh, a researcher comes, he wants a particular picture, he will see it very small like that. Then we refer, we will look for the negative itself so that when we get the negative, we will snap the negative, print a bigger picture with a greater quality. This used to be the photographic uh, library. There was a photo librarian trained to keep the negatives and ground sheets. Ground sheets are what you see there from the negatives. If you went on assignment, a photographer went, he took whatever he took of the assignment, came back, went to the dark room, printed and produce ground sheets like this, indicating the event and date and the characters involved. When they come here and the librarian finishes, then the press center takes that ground sheet, indicate the highlight picture they want printed, because not everything you take is printed. Usually a nice photographer can get three pictures of an event and close his camera and come. There will be news, you can take 100 pictures and you miss the highlight, it is useless. That is why there is training in every aspect of human life and this is it. So these are the ground sheets here that we have. We have them according to, they are, they are being differentiated. We have politics, we have politics of the 70s, we have politics of the 80s, we have uh, things like uh, international relations, we have international relations of the 80s, we have international relations of the 70s. So these are the news that in case you want to find out, you find out of international relations of the year 1970s and then you find out the 80s. And then there are so many other things that we can find. We find government actions, 70s, 80s, and then uh, we really had somebody who could arrange them for us very well by name Mr. Jesse Conan, 
for my friends to be of the, of the house to of the ministry. So now this is a book here which is uh, the ground sheet book and this ground sheet book this book corresponds to what we find inside here so maybe you come under 1980 or 1981 you see ground sheet 101 with the title preparatory meeting of may 20th or 10th anniversary celebration in faco now if you want to get more pictures on this one now you are referred to all the librarian, the, uh, the photographic librarian now will come in this uh, ground sheet cupboard now and look exactly the pictures that corresponds to this event. And if at all the researcher was covering a new or want to produce a material with respect to that, he now he will be able to get that picture. And when he gets the picture, when he gets from the ground sheet now, let's say for example this one of the 1970. When we take the one of the 1970, we might see an image here of uh, the negative 6035. With the negative 6035, now he will go and look for it under the negative box of 19. It is 1980. We we'll look under 1980 and we we'll look at that negative 6035. And when we see 6035, then now can we print a bigger picture for him and then give him. Negative numbers are starting from 6035 right up to 6049. It means that from 6035, negative number 6035 to 6049 are the, the negative that correspond to this particular event that took place on this particular day. The negatives that we're talking about and the negatives, they are being numbered and they are being numbered. But let's take example this particular box you see the numbers ranging from 642,924 to 643,944 so if at all you want to find the number of immediate of negatives that are inside there when you get the difference between those two numbers you know how many negatives that are contained in this particular box and all through here we have just negatives all along negatives 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 corresponding to particular pictures and corresponding to particular events that happened so this one for example is a negative number 646,008 so maybe if you go to the ground sheet you'll be able to to know exactly the description of this negative because if you get there there will be a, a, a news event that ties with this negative and all all along here we have negatives of different like political uh, tourist international cultural and so many others I could talk about. range of negatives that we took to to rescan and then produce them now in pictures that's why any negative that we subtract here there is a paper to identify that this negative is being taken away so that the person who took the negative away, like me who took this one away, after doing the work that I was, I'm supposed to do with the negative, I'm supposed to bring it back when I tally it here correctly I remove the paper to show that the negatives here are all correct. So to keep the place uh, a bit warm, conducive for the negatives, all these cupboards here have heaters and this heater is uh, for this cupboard. Unfortunately, some of the heaters are not functioning very well because it's been for long that they were bought and it seems like the mechanisms are not all that right. So all of these inside there are all negatives and we have negatives here that are more than 200,000 negatives. More than 200,000 negatives from up right down with this and even another cupboard that we removed from here because of the dilapidation structure of this thing that we have here we decided to transfer it to the other room so that we'll be able to keep the negatives safely if not we will, if anything happens to them and then we lose the negatives it means that we are already losing part of the photographic archives <music> i
an assignment at the uh, Minorities Commission from the United Nations, negative number one in 1955, in that box. And that order continued. The assignment is given, the negative is numbered, as that young man has said, corresponding with the ground sheet. So if you want a negative, you don't go to the, you go to the ground sheet, indicate what you want, then they print for you. So that is the essence. So this one here is a dark room where we produce pictures, where pictures are being produced. Maybe you want a particular picture, you don't want it in a soft copy format. We'll produce it in the hard, the hard copy and then give it to you. These are the machines, the few machines that we have here now. This one happens to be the dryer and uh, this one is still functioning very well. This one happens to be the, the, the printer itself where depending on the the type of picture you want, it's a small one, it's a big one, and so on the measurement or the dimension, this one prints it. And then a lot of other machines that were supposed to be here are not here. But after producing it here, there are a lot of chemicals that the, the, the picture runs through before you can have it very clear. In fact, I, we bought this equipment before I was transferred to the cinema section. So this, and this was provision for two, uh, Persons working simultaneously, one on this side, one on the other. We have the that is a dry cabinet for drying of films, rapid drying of films. This is the enlarger, and this is where the poultry glazing machine. Once the pictures are well washed, they are now dried here. You can dry very many. You just rotate and they come out dry. So. Here was impact safe lights. You have the printing, the dishes are here. Uh, the chemicals are developer, water, and fixing salt. After you have enlarged, you have exposed it, it is printed and then washed here to dry. Downstairs is a a machine that dry it washes rapidly. So that is how it is. When they are well washed, and the answer is many pictures go back because of poor processing. If pictures are not thoroughly washed, the chemicals remain with the light, they spoil. I was brought from CDC Films Unit where I was in charge of the photographic section and the cinema section, and we did local film production with my boss, Mr. F.H. Knight from the Colonial Film Unit. After that, I had, I had no Cameroon scholarship. I had, when I left CDC, the information was directly under the Deputy Commissioner. When the Deputy Commissioner was made first uh, British Consul, staying in the Castella House. There I was uh, uh, asked to go to Britain by the British people on British scholarship. And that is where I did my British uh, photographic training in Blackpool Technical College and College of Arts. And usually, because I was a cinema projectionist, every weekend too, I showed films to persons in the school. Of course, it's like you have seen it yourself. No photographic section in the world can ever be like this. You can't work like this because that is an enemy to photography. And you see every every negative is dead. When you are printing, there's the dead on the negative, it appears. I feel very disappointed. I wish I had not lived to see these things we have kept for posterity, getting rotten before us. And why were these people I trained sent on, uh, uh, on retirement unreplaced? This is the question. Who sent them on Who bought that to watch this place till it is what it is? And I left the photographic section because I did cinematography too. I opened a miniature public relations uh, uh, department here. We were showing mobile films to all the divisions of the Southwest. This process now is to be attributed to Mrs. Adna, 
who opened uh, the archives in 1960 with the late husband, Edwin. And when she came, she was, because we were working hand in hand, most of the things, photographs you see in the archives were from the information. And when she came, she called me to come here and see the situation of the photographic section and the archives. We took cine films she sent to these ministers in Yaoundé. As a result of that, that is why we are here. But for her and the organization, AFAC, Association of Friends of Archives and Antiquities, we will form this to keep things alive. Many things would have gone decayed as you go to the archives and be told by the man there how that organization started. I am Rosaria Mazuela from Spain. I belong with a team of research who is uh, African Photography Initiatives. And um, uh, this is the, the office where we are doing our work. Uh, the project uh, has the aim to, sorry for the English, <laughs> to uh, preserve the photograph press archive from Buya. Uh, that consists in, uh, in the la digitalization of some of the material, because it's a huge material, and uh, the preservation with papers, or special papers, special materials to cutting uh, the, the going out of the photographical material. Um, um, the project will have uh, uh, a second step uh, to put in access to the community, uh, academic community, the material uh, to do the research. That it depends on the MinCon and how we are going to uh, allow the researchers uh, to profit this material uh, for the, the works in history, anthropology, gender, and all these materials, uh, university materials, and uh, mostly for the Cameroonian uh, persons who are interested. Mm, one copy of the of uh, the digitalization material uh, will be, of course, for the owner, who is the Ministry of Communication, and then uh, maybe for some universities, uh, depending of the of of of, of the of the contract. One person of our team worked here ten years ago in the in the archives uh, in the PCC. In the case of the PCC, and uh, he's a specialist in photography African, historical photography African. She knew this archive, and two years ago we came and we see the opportunity to maybe to to concept, do the concept of the project, and then we, we, we do this work and we present this work to some institutions, uh, British Library, uh, Ministry of Culture for Swiss. And, our university, who is Basel University, who supports us, <laughs> and then we are here. Uh, it's a, mostly the, the project um, is the, the equipment and, and the, the staff who are going to run it, because we are on the university. Eh? And uh, well, the, the work consists exactly. There are two parts in, the, in, in these archives, there are two big parts. There are the ground sheets, where are the contact prints of the photos that the journalists did when they covered one event. 
and the, the negatives themselves. And then we have preserving, we have scanning the ground sheets. We're doing one list, one list listing all the information who is, who is in, the, in the ground sheets. And then the second step, choose the pictures that we think are better, everything for several reasons, the, the quality of the picture, the physical quality, the, the importance of who is in the picture, the person who are in the picture, the venement, or, or always one artistic view, no? Uh, and then we are taking these pictures and we photography this picture because it's, it's the way of, in a high resolution, with a good camera, uh, to have all this material in in, uh, in digital in digital support, okay. uh, just in case if something happened in this house that we will we will like uh, to push to improve the quality of the house, or, uh, then all these materials will be already protected. Uh, after we must have identified the pictures for the ground sheets and negatives from the photographic archives, uh, based on the classifications we. We classify them now on the different years based on in the different years. We start we want to digitize what we are most important the most important documents now, the documents of the sixties. Though we are going to work with the fifties and the seventies too, but we started with the sixties. So we select them, we bring them in lots. Each lot is made up of fifty ground sheets. We bring fifty ground sheets in a space in folders, in paper folders. We carry them from there, we bring them to Dedication year where we start our digitization. From here, we have to unpin that, we remove the staples from them. Here, we remove the pins from the ground sheets, the staples. We remove them with care because documents are very old. We use, we remove them and then we take care. For ground sheets that are too bad, we start already with the preservation by putting them in these paper folders. They are special folders for preserving these documents. And uh, when we remove the staples, we take them now to the digitization team, that's the scanning team. Here we scan, here we scan. Okay, here we use uh, an Epsif scanner, it's an A3 scanner and a very powerful one. We scan at 300 resolution, 300 dpi. Yeah. We use a special software known as uh, iPhone View where we use the drivers of the printer with iPhone view to scan in that way we scan in we scan documents in color and we use a, a special color checker that's a standard for the British, British Library we use the color checker to so we know the exact nature of the, of the material we know the exact color if it's white we know it's white if it's not white or we know if we scan something that is not if, if we don't see the color from the color checker here yeah, then we know we don't have a good quality of scan. Here is the scanning st station for the ground sheets that have been um, brought from the archives, after which the pins have been taken off. We scan them. While scanning them, we put, first of all, we take the papers, we put inside the scanner, then we close, we make sure they are placed where we close, then we come to the computer and we we'll search for the scanner itself, which has already been installed. Now to scan and see what we have inside the scanner, we come to our computer, we look for the settings where we use to scan, we do, then we preview what is inside the scan. After previewing, it takes about a few seconds before we preview what is inside the scanner. By so doing, we adjust the document that is in, it's inside the scan so that we should not like have other colors around the document because we need a particular document that it's inside the scan. So when we scan, we scan, after scanning we have a folder in the computer which when we scan we save everything that we scan into that folder which after that the folder is being taken to the listing station where they do the listing and the rest. This is 
is a section for the listing. The software that we use for the listing is Microsoft Excel. And well, we use 2010 version for our work. When the documents are being, after they have been scanned, we copy them in, a, in an external hard disk and then we transfer to this computer. Now here, yeah, we have to fill various fields. We start with the, with the ground sheet reference, which is this number. This is the ground, the ground sheet reference. We fill the ground, sheet, uh, the ground sheet reference in the ground sheet reference field. We have also a digital folder name that we created there. As, as he rightly said, each folder, each ground sheet is in a particular folder. And each lot, as I said, we bring a lot containing 50 ground sheets. Each lot now is in one folder. That folder now is a digital folder name. We put the digital folder name here. We also have the digital file name, which is each page scanned. In this case, we have that's three pages or yeah three pages. We start with this page, we scan the title, we scan the second page and the third with the pictures. Okay, we also have to know the number of contact prints on each page. We count the number of contact prints here, the pictures we count and we we, we fill here. We also have to copy the heading or the title as it is the title and the contact print references here yeah, we use that as the contact print reference it, it starts from 65,520 655,271 to 655,293 we fill the, the reference as the series there okay we know the nature now of the ground sheet if it's bad or it's good we also have to fill the nature of the ground sheet and then if there is any notes or places, that's if we can identify the places that are on the ground sheet or the people on the ground sheet, or if there is something that like, uh, at times you can see for this case, this ground sheet that has paper inside, and it tells us something. We go to the note, we try to read what is here and we copy to the note, or we go to a register book and we try to get what is there. After we finish the listing, then we just make sure we do a check of the number of ground sheets here and if everything is rightly filled here then from there we close the file and then we bring it here now we have files that the pins have been removed we have files that we have scanned already we need to fill and we have files that we need to take back to the archives but at the moment at the moment we don't take them back to the archives because we still have to do the preservation since we are avoiding too much movement at the archives because of the structure we will wait till those materials that are, will be used for the preservation camp and then we need to bring them back here and then we put we have some they'll bring some special papers pictures papers that will put in between each ground sheet to prevent these papers from touching the pictures and then we put all these ground sheet in this yellow envelope these yellow paper folders we put all the ground sheets in this nothing written on it when you fill Brothers. Yeah, a ground sheet. Once you put inside, you just need to write the ground sheet number on it. So that when the person, when someone wants to look for it, you don't need to open, you just need to look from here and you know this is this. We also have uh, the workstation for the negatives. Identify the negatives after we bring them from the archives and then we bring them, we take them now to our dark room. This is our own small dark room that we designed here. Now we have to snap the negatives and then we use Photoshop to invert them now to pictures and then we can reprint. So we select the negatives that are bad. We have started with, with, with the first two boxes. We already brought them. These are, the, these are the two. That's from negative number one to 1,221 to this one. So we have brought them here. We will identify them, we will we'll, we'll like remove them and put them in special classes. What is being done inside here? So when I get a negative from here, negatives that are coming from the photo archives, this is a negative. I now have to put this negative into this glass, specially prepared for the work. Then this camera is mounted here, the Nikon camera, the camera of the high profile. Now I have to focus it right here. So when I focus, 
I snap after I must have focused and then I snap like this now this the, the camera now stores the digital format in uh, in an SD memory card from here now we'll remove the SD memory card now go to the laptop then invert the photo now to the original format of which when it is printed that's how it will be so that is the process of digitalizing these uh, negatives now to the picture format Sidara, ba ma mel mi ma tonlo. Nana, samana mango ni jai. Suma de me balewe, amal ni nana nge. Ba lo jani me Japan silo. Baba gunila, yobo ma sidara, ba ma mel mi ma tonlo. Nana, samana mango ni jai. Suma de me balewe. Nana, <laughs> Dinkunala Hale, Dinkunala Suba, Dinkunala Versa, Dinkunala Ham Ham, Dinkunala Warna Hivendeni Brahmajo, Fatu Fani Hivendeni, Yayu Aida Madoi, Sumahairan Lamayo, Nana, 